Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be Debt Confessions Part 3. So if you missed it, I already have Part 1 and Part 2 up on my channel. So you'll have to excuse my scribbles, but this is Part 1 and I like to keep both of my sheets. That way I can just hold myself accountable. So if you remember, we started off with $31,877.40 in debt and we had all of these debts that we are working towards paying off and also please do not come for me i know i spelled ambulance wrong but i'm not gonna fix it so that's okay um and then i did a part two and we got it down to twenty eight thousand three hundred and seventy dollars and eighty six cents and this is the debts we had left so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually talk about our first debt confessions and then i'll we'll, we'll go on to making our newest one so since i most recently filmed this video i have since paid off my upstart loan as well as my car which is fantastic um i know some people might be kind of confused why i skipped my credit card and went straight to my honda and that is just for personal reasons it's probably not like the best financial decision but paying off my car is just something that was really, really important to me and something I really, really wanted to accomplish last year. So I was putting my focus into paying off that, which is totally fine and up to whatever you guys want to do. There's no perfect way to go about this. This is just the way I wanted to do it. So let's go ahead and um, cross off my current debts and then we'll talk about kind of where we're at now. Okay, so like I said, I did pay off my Upstart loan. As well as my car. And then based off of the way things were, we actually were at a lower balance with the roof than we were the credit card. So this is actually where our money is. So right now, this payment has now upped to $915 a month. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. So now we should only have credit card, roof, Sally Mae, and Discover left. So then if we go over here, we did pay off our upstart loan. So once we paid off the upstart loan, that made our minimum payment here not, oh, sorry, shoot, I messed up. We went to the car was 615-ish. It's not exactly right, but that is what we were paying on that. So now, since we've paid off the Honda and we're working on the roof, this new payment that we're doing is $915. So let's go ahead and make our new debt confession sheet. Okay, so I am going to start out by doing the titles. So the first one is going to be balance. Minimum payment, interest rate, and payoff months. And then over here to the side, I'm going to list out my debts. Now, one thing I am going to say is I, when I did my Discover student loan, I actually took out two different ones. So in the past, they have been kind of broken out or they've been combined. I apologize, but I'm thinking in this video, I might want to break them out into the two different ones. And then on top of all this fun stuff, now that um, federal loans have been, student loans have been unpaused and now we have to pay them back, I need to also add those in. So. You're not gonna see like a big decrease in my balance that I have to pay off due to now having to add in more debts, which is awesome. Please hence the sarcasm, but you know, we're working on it, so it's gonna get paid off. You know, I have the degree, I have the job, but now I'm just having to pay the price of paying off the loan. So that's okay, it's part of life, but let's go ahead and list our first ones that I know we have. So like I said, the lowest balance right now is our roof. 
and we borrowed money from family for this so that's why we're, we're really trying to pay this one off quicker because nobody wants to have to owe somebody in your family money okay so at the time of filming this the balance on the roof is 1300 the minimum payment is 915 because of our snowball and i'm gonna have to change out markers the interest rate, because we did borrow from family, thankfully is 0%. So if you take the 1300, divide it by our minimum payment of 915, we will have this paid off in one and a half months. So we're just gonna say two, which is great because I'm filming this in January. So by end of February, we should have this filled out. Okay, so I think in similar fashion, we're also gonna break out the federal loan because it's three different parts. I know, bad decisions, but it is what it is. So we're gonna put this as federal one. And the balance on this one is $2,044.53. The minimum payment, so my federal is one lump sum payment, so the portion of my lump sum payment that goes to this one is $21.18. The interest rate is 4.53%. And I'm actually gonna skip the payoff months for now because we're gonna kind of do some math here. We're gonna uh, lay out them all and then we'll come back to that. So then after that, my next highest debt is my credit card. And the balance on this one is $2,300. The minimum payment on it is 55, and I think the interest rate is like 3%. And then like I said, we're gonna skip the payoff months for now. Okay, the next debt is my Sally Mae student loan. And the balance on this one, 42. And 61 cents. And the minimum payment is 115 and 20 cents ish, but we're just gonna put 150. 20. I think that's probably what it is. And here's the kicker. The interest rate is 13. Gotta love student loans. And then the next one, I believe, let me just triple check, is my first Discover loan. So we're going to do this as Discover 1. Like I said, we're breaking them out. And this has a balance of 4000 nine hundred fifty dollars and twenty cents and then this one also has a lump sum payment so the portion of the lump sum payment that goes here is sixty three dollars and eight cents and the interest rate on this piece is eleven point eight four gotta love it all right and then we have my second federal and this one has a balance of $5,530.05. The portion of my payment that goes to this is $57.27. And this one has the same interest rate as this one up here of 4.53%. Then we have my last piece of my federal loan. Can't even see it. Sorry, guys. And this one has a balance of $8,073.48. And the payment on this is $85.62 with a 5.05% interest rate. And then the last guy is the big one. And this is... Well, this one's big too, but this is the biggest and the last. And this is my second part of my Discover student loan. And this one's got a balance of 
681.46 payment on this is 226.83 and the interest rate is 13.24 and just to show you guys the fun power of interest the balance of this now is 16,681. The balance at the time we did this, and that's just for the second part, that's not including this. The time I did it, last point, is 14,950, which is disgusting. And that's why we're trying really hard to get this stuff paid off. Now we're gonna do my least favorite part, and that is totaling up all of my debt. And just keep in mind, I have now added my federal loans in here, which is no good. Well, that is what it is, but it's not fun. Plus, the balances have increased due to interest. So, first things first, let's add up our roof, which is 1300 the federal, plus my credit card, plus just another try and do this so for doing the first federal we know that I'll be paying a minimum of 2118 for two months while I just work on paying off the roof so we're gonna take that times two so we will have paid off 4236 and then the payment will increase by 915 so we'll do 915 plus 2118, which will be a new payment of 93618. And we'll do 2044, which is the balance, subtract out those two payments, so the 4236, which will get us a balance of 2217. I'm also not taking into consideration of interest, so obviously these numbers will be a little bit off, but because I'm lazy and I just don't want to do that much math, so it's okay. And then we're going to divide this by 936 which is roughly two months. So we're gonna do these two months plus the additional two months that we were working on paying off the roof. And since that's so close to two, I'm just gonna say four and I'll be able to come up with that money in my budget. So that's four months. Now we'll go to the credit card. So we know for a fact it will be four months while I'm working on paying off these two. So we'll do 55 times four because that's the minimum payment. Which is 220 we will add our new payment so the 936.18 plus 55 to get our new payment which will be 991.18 we will subtract the 220 that we'll be making in payments from the balance so 2350 no 2365.79 minus 220 which will leave us a balance of 2145.79 and we'll divide it by our new payment of 991.18 which will be two months so similar so this would be six months and then I'm just going to repeat the process for the rest of And as you can see, the last one, it looks like if we keep this method, and obviously, like I said, I'm not taking into account interest because I don't want to math that out, even though I probably should. We can tell that it will be taking me at a minimum of 30 months. And as we saw between part two and part three, the interest does matter and it does take a big impact out of this. So I do expect probably from here down to change 
These ones I think we can get paid off quick enough that I won't see too big of an impact on this. But yeah, this is definitely when I look at it this way and when I break it out, it's honestly a little bit discouraging rather than if I just had it, you know, combined like this, but that's okay. It's, this is real life and this is why I did want to go ahead and film this for you guys because my federal loans did get unpaused. So now I do have to make those payments. I do have to pay it back. It's the price that I paid when I signed up for these loans and went to college. I wish I had a little bit more guidance, but I've said it again, multiple times that I made unsmart decisions when I was young and trying to go to college. And now I'm paying the price, but that's all right. We will get there. We're making progress slowly but surely, especially considering where we started and getting stuff paid off. So I am proud of us for that. But this is my part three of my debt confessions. I will probably maybe do this one in about six months when I get um, maybe the credit card paid off so we can kind of check back in with the rest of this. Now, I will say that I do try and put extra money towards these balances when I can. So say there's extra money left over at the end of the month, I will throw this in there. So it might not be six months, it might be less might be more who knows what can happen in six months but here is my third part of my debt confession series thank you guys so much for coming along i hope you find this interesting we are all in this together and you know it is what it is so i will see you guys in my next one i hope you have a great day and i'll talk to you later bye